All right, welcome back to another interview, guys. This is going to be our second American interview for the year on this channel. Now, last year we were able to interview Rashad. He did have the Ford Bronco, so we brought that to the channel. Now, this was kind of just out of the blue. We're here with this guy, and he had a Shelby GT500. We're going to talk about it more just in about a minute. This whole entire meet, if you guys haven't seen the other meets, this was actually because of the Peterson Museum Shelby Drive-In. So we were over here and kind of just flying around the drone. Of course, the drone gets a lot of attention. So we were able to talk to him and his family, really respectful people, really nice people. Like I said, we're gonna get more information about him. If you haven't seen the other videos with the Shelby Drive-In that's up on the channel, it's a little mixing with the State of Speed video, kind of because I just want to make it a nice long video from Japanese to American. But enough of me chatting, let's uh, go ahead and chat with the guy here and talk about his build. So, you can see, uh, what's your name again, brother? Victor Moreno. Victor Moreno, and he has this kind of business. What is that business again? Uh, of, uh, Victoria Shine LLC, a mobile detailing company out here in South Central California. South Central California. So, South LA local around here and everything? Pretty much, yes. So, it's just up the street from the Peterson Museum? Correct. Nice. So, right behind us, you have a... What kind of car is it? Uh, today, we have, I brought out my GT500. I also own a 2016 GT build. Fourth time I've driven it, uh, pretty much stands out as part of Carol Shelby's uh, lineage yeah and uh, I've been a Ford guy since I was 12 years old I got to meet Carol Shelby Wow uh, for my dad so I grew up in the community and I'm um, passionate for cars that's why I run a detailing company so the goal is to preserve and keep cars right 100% so for this one right here like what have you done to the car are like mod wise as far as mods uh i haven't done too much because i barely got it in october it's mm. not your typical car as uh, if you know about carol uh the shelby gt 500s just pretty much the tint um i added a uh, pretty much a borla attack uh, exhaust, exhaust system from the back mm. uh, uh pretty much air filter and stuff like that next thing is going to go it's the rims you know staggered rims just to be able to keep up with uh, i believe right now it's 800 horsepower wow from factory huh basically factory Almost. 760 the mm -hmm. the two things that i added little breather on there hundred horsepower do you have a super supercharger right it's super supercharger okay yes. that makes sense yeah and that's the ford performance supercharger or correct okay okay cool factory everything's factory except for the the cane system and then the exhaust system okay now i know you said you always been into shelby and everything and uh what would be your dream car if you didn't have this car uh, my dream car, pretty much, well, this was on my vision board for five years. Mm -hmm. I've been putting money away. Like I said, I own yeah. a GT, uh, 2016. And for the family and stuff like that, I also own a Ford, 2020 Ford ST Explorer. Okay, okay. So, yeah. like you said, it's in the yeah. lineage. Yeah, a little cop car over here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, for uh, my dream car, this is one of my dream cars, absolutely. Uh, you know, I want to go up the scale. I mean, I love Lamborghinis, exotics. I deal with them all the time. Yeah. But there's nothing like American muscle. Like I always go back to, you know, the the power, the, the V8. Feel, yeah. The V8. Yeah. Uh, it's a different feeling uh, compared to. I mean, you mentioned as a detailer, I get to be in a lot of million Vehicles, dollar cars. Yeah. My most expensive car that I probably ever touch is a Pagani and a Bugatti. Wow. I've been doing it for 15 years. Yeah. Uh, so it's like the experience talks. 
I deal with a lot of high-end customers that own these vehicles, right. some from Miami, some from here. Mm -hmm. They fly back and forth, and it's uh, an experience. But what led me to the whole thing is pretty much just the passion of cars, you know? Of course. I take care of theirs like I take care of mine. So, mm -hmm. You know, it's just a thing. They always say, you know, what well, you got to master something, master something that you love. Of and course. It's, it doesn't feel like a job. Yeah, it honestly doesn't, like yeah. A, my passion. It's a passion, yeah. And I have a list of cars that I get to touch, GTRs and mm -hmm. all that stuff. And, you know, with the vision and putting it out there, eventually I get to have that list, you know, and the dream come true. Of course. And I mean, if you could tell anybody one thing, what would you tell them for them to pursue their goals? One thing that I honestly believe, because I'm Mexican, come from nothing. I was brought here when I was three years old. Yeah. Uh, I would say believe in yourself and have a vision board. Uh, it's existence with the energy. I always write down my goals every new year mm -hmm. and eventually those are the things that uh, pretty much come out to play and uh, manage your money right so that you could obtain certain goals and all that like mm -hmm. I said this is one of my biggest goals accomplishments all that but it's not just about that I also do other things on the side I have a family to take care of but right, you know, right, I right. do I have to go back to my lineage because I always tell people Give something to yourself so you could work for others. Mm -hmm. And then it's more empowering to all that. Just believe in yourself and you're able to accomplish. And then have a vision board. Take cut cutouts of a picture. I see it on my phone. Mm -hmm. The next screensaver on my phone is my family. Yeah. So that's my driver to be able to get it. Your motivation. I was also able to mm -hmm. accomplish you know, my dream watch, which is a Rolex. Nice. Right now. You got it on right now? Yes. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, and it matches the car with the blue. Yeah, I'm Jeez. a black and blue person. Right, right. I mean, if that's... Not hard to tell, you know he's got the whole fit and everything. He needs a shoes blue though. Yes. But uh, <laughs> to point that out, Mustang, what do you think about the Mustang Mach-E? The Mustang Mach-E, it's uh, pretty much, believe it or not, my girl wanted one. The mm. problem is that I don't believe we're in the transition with the whole uh, electrical grid because I do I deal with a lot of Teslas and all that stuff. Mm. So I believe in hybrids, but not fully electric just because certain circumstances don't lead you. I've known an issue screen, just like our phones, they lock up, they freeze yeah. and all that stuff. In case of an emergency, you need a gas car. Yeah. Uh, they've been around for so many years. Uh, this is the 60th year anniversary for you know mm -hmm. the Ford Shelby. Uh, so it tells you something like yeah, that. Yeah, and you can kind of just like... car has just been around for, I want to say, 10 plus years yeah. or so. So it's one of those things that I don't, I'm not there yet. Yeah, and I know, uh, not like, like not to cut you off, but like with the electric cars, you can't really like just put them in neutral and push it. You have to do a lot of different work exactly. to get it to move. But it is starting to sprinkle now. But this is a really cool car, uh, Shelby GT500. I know they retail around 120K, right? Roughly yes. around there. This one, so, they want 130, but I negotiated. Two years of negotiation. Yeah, I know because markup is insane uh, after they get to the, the dealership and stuff and uh you said you had a previous 2016 i do have a 2016 so you still have it i still have oh it. wow nice and is that gonna be like not to talk too much about your family it's gonna be for your sons maybe uh well it's a, a legacy for the uh, my son to be able to keep mm -hmm. up but it's it is a hot horsepower but one thing i do love about ford that it, they have what it's called my key yeah so i'm able to control the car without all the options i added to the vehicle of course and he's able to access the car make it look cool and all that mm -hmm. but without driving over 60 70 miles per hour I so I want to give my kids the death sentence. You got a valet card, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because they had. My son wants it. He's excited about it. He's about to graduate high school. Oh, nice. Uh, the thing is that you just don't want to give somebody something power. without understanding. It's too much power. Like yeah. I said, uh, you got to be a car enthusiast, and he's barely getting into it. That's yeah. why we're here at the shows. You You like really got to understand the the nature behind this suspension setup and everything exactly. because i know the mustangs they have the independent rear differential right well, mustangs are known to whip out yeah a lot of power in the car but it has to do a lot with the driver the, the driver yeah obviously oversteer panic a panic and all mm -hmm. oversteer understeer and you don't have self-control that's one of the things and i you know as being a ford guy yes that there's means out there with the oversteering but <laughs> yeah you got to be able to control and not overdo it to where it's going to launch you on it of course these things are very expensive yeah very expensive and they're very like i don't know how to say this, they're very powerful you know yes. they have a lot of you know gusto behind it basically 
So if you step on the throttle too hard, I know it'll start yes. to throw you all over the place. Exactly. As any car really, you know, even front wheel drive, I know it's not a lot of power, but you still get that torque steer, as they call it, from just stepping on it. And really, if you don't know how to drive the car, don't get it, you know? That's Pretty much. That's as one, simple that's as it sounds, yeah. And, uh, that's, you're on the point with that. Unless you get an EcoBoost, you know? It's, it's a little <laughs> more, like, like, basically it's like you get an EcoBoost, it's a beginner drone, you know, and you get this thing, and it's like the the drone well, I have now like so leveling up, yeah you know? I have exactly to the feel for the GT build yeah. it to where I want and I, I know myself then you kind of get a little bit more but understand your your parameters you know mm -hmm. as a family man I'm all like I have my limits right know? right I understandable cars before so it's like you know I just want to enjoy my car mm -hmm. keep it as much as I can and because they're not they're, like I said they're not cheap cars yeah no it, it's definitely not um with this one right here are you gonna do you say different wheels what kind of wheels are gonna go with well, hopefully I've been tagging Boston wheels or stand wheels because mm -hmm. uh, I realized for this car you, you, you can't just get any typical wheels because of the brake caliper system. Yeah. It's a six piston brake. Uh, and then they have the little brakes. one too. It's, uh, it's, they're so big and then mm -hmm. the diameter so it's very difficult to get uh, wheels for this car and especially the tire setup. Yeah. So, I mean, each wheel is looking at three, four grand a piece. So a total, a set of four. It's gonna be around 11 grand. Good, yeah, yeah, good costly. So I know you've seen the ones with carbon fiber. Uh, what do you think about those wheels? I love them. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I'm a huge carbon <laughs> fiber fan. Yeah. The only issue, if you're in California, uh, they're nine thousand dollar a piece. A lot of potholes. So, uh, there's so many potholes, and <laughs> yeah. to replace one of those wheels, they're on back. It's too much. Yeah. So uh, it's not worth it for me. That's why I went with this package right here. Yeah. Because uh, it's just Makes too sense. much money. I don't have money to spill like that. Yeah, of course. I know it. Like that's why, like for me with the Fiat. There's so many different wheel pairs that my mom has gone through because I gave her my wheels. And the last question is, what are the future goals for this one that you see? Well, the future goals for this one is to actually come out to events uh, with my family and mm -hmm. pretty much uh, promote the car and stuff like that. Keep promote the, the business, American, of course. Uh, promote my business, uh, keep the heritage of the muscle car lineage going because mm -hmm. in California, they're trying to get rid of these cars. Yeah. But I understand because some people overdo it and somebody always pays the price for it. Yeah. So it's just to put it out there like that. It's not my daily driver. Yeah. This is the fourth time I've driven the car. It only has a thousand miles on it. So, so you bought this brand new? Yes. That's Fresh from the it factory. Took me two years, two wow. years to order it because yeah. if you that's notice insane. on the Sh uh, Shelby GT500, they normally come with the white stripes and yeah. uh, the wrap yeah, yeah. Uh, top. This one's painted, so painted. they only made wow. 500 of these. So they hold the value. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So not the typical Shelby. Nice. That's that's good to know because I know there's one GT. This is GT350 behind yes. us. Yeah. So, show you guys that real quick. That's GT350 behind us, and that one is pretty interesting to see compared to this one. But this one obviously has a lot more, you have more arrow on yours and everything else like that. It's a bigger body, and yeah. everything's bigger on this body. Yeah, that's insane, dude. Well, I appreciate the time. Um, what's the business one more time? Victoria Shine LLC. So Victoria Shine, if you guys want to get your car detailed, you do interior as well, right? I do everything. And do you do like ceramic coat, ceramic coat, coat clay bar? Uh, anything I don't do, I'm car connected so I could get ribs repair. A repair, a bumper repair, all at Volvo and your convenience. Okay, so if you guys want to get your business done, uh, definitely hit him up. He, I'm gonna put his Instagram over here while we're talking. So follow him on Instagram, check out his business and stuff like that. There's a really nice car right behind us. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. It's super cool to see all this once more. The car is it's amazing. You know, if I could afford it, I probably would. If I can't afford it, I'll probably go with GT350. But as always, guys, stay safe and stay chill.